guys, today we're gonna do a durability test on the Hot Lab T5 Pro. We're gonna do drop tests, uh, we're gonna run it over, throw it around a bit, then leave it submerged in water. So first off, we're gonna do a simple drop test. And the whole phone is holding up very nicely. Let's do the front again. Drop it from higher. I'm, lift, I'm throwing it in there like this. And the phone is happy getting no damage. Alright. And one more on the face. All right, still works perfectly. I don't even see any scuff marks or anything like that. This is where we start to see some damage. So as you can see on the back, wait, let me turn on the brightness. The camera lens has a bit of fractures, surprisingly, and there's a bit of, and there's a whole bunch of scuff marks in general. You have to throw it really hard this time. Nope, everything still works. All right. Still works. Damn. Still. At this point, the phone is harming the tree. I just can't break it. I want to slam this as hard as I can on, on the floor, but I want to do the, the water test before that. All right, the water test, here we go. Let's do a stopwatch. And I'm gonna take it out whenever I feel like it, I guess. All right, it's been over five minutes, let's take it out. So it's it can so it's supposed to last like oh basically like over 30 minutes and like four or five minutes was it I don't remember. But yeah, it looks like everything works. Just gonna dry it off because can't use the wet screen, but water resistance does work. All right, now I have an issue. I don't know if you guys can see that, but every every time I press the the lock button, it takes a screenshot. Like, I can't lock the phone. I don't know. Anyway, for the final test, I'm gonna slam it as hard as I can on that rock on the back and the front, starting with the back. All right, the display has finally died. Not even the glass, it's just an internal, internally damaged. I'm not gonna do the same thing with the front. Oh, oh, that was a direct hit, Jesus. But yeah, obviously, no. It's still glass, obviously. It's gonna break when you do that. But you saw the other tests I did, right? So like, this is a very, very durable 
phone. It'll survive extreme cases, even it'll, it'll survive minor cases, extreme cases, you name it. Uh, there goes the display. Uh, oop. Uh, God, that's the adhesive. Don't let this fool you. This is still a very durable phone. I just overdid it. Alright, and here we see the battery. And the, some of the water did get inside, as you can see. But I think it's only because of the fact that the, the camera lens was broken and gets the water into that way because yeah yeah that is a that's a beefy battery all right and you can see how the water entered the camera lens and here you have the camera module where we only see one camera but there's like three lenses, only one camera. Ah, when would manufacturers stop doing this? And I feel kind of bad because this phone was sent to me for free. I don't think the company would be too happy that I'm doing this, but I don't really care. And that is what's left of the Hotwab T5 Pro. Again, it's a very durable phone. You should definitely get it if you're on a budget and you're looking for a very durable phone. Cause this thing, you know, it proved it proved itself that it's, it's capable. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.